T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Atlantis now on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center already, traveling 500 miles an hour. The three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance, going into the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. 32 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines soon will throttle back to 72% of rated performance, down in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic.
Liftoff of the Delta rocket carrying blast, a gamma ray telescope searching for unseen physics in the stars of the galaxies. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, we have to go from ready to start, 2, 1, zero. booster ignition, and liftoff of Shuttle Endeavour with NASA's final space station crew compartment that brings a bay window view to our celestial backyard. Mission Control Houston, Endeavour's roll maneuver is complete. It is now in a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis. The final visit to enhance the vision of Hubble into the deepest grandeur of our universe. Bypass across the board, scooter, no action. Houston now controlling Atlantis on its way. Atlantis on its way, all three engines now throttling down as the area begins as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Atlantis, Houston, no action on the MPS H2 out P. 10, 9, 8, go for main engine start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0 and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis. We should crest of its historic achievements in space. And Houston Atlantis is in a roll. Roger roll. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Atlantis is in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. main engines on Atlantis have now been throttled down to 72% of rated thrust as the orbiter prepares to pass through the uh, area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, hoisting harmony to the heavens and opening new gateways for international science. Discovery has cleared the tower. Houston now controlling. Roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. Discovery's roll maneuver is complete. It's now in a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station.
Atlantis now beginning what is known as the pre-flare maneuver. It will pull the nose up a little bit right before it uh, hits the runway. Its speed now 320 miles per hour. The gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Atlantis's nose being now rotated down toward the runway. The uh, chute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis now comes home to the Kennedy Space Center for the final time in 25 years. 32 flights and more than 120 million miles traveled. The legacy of Atlantis now in the history books. One minute now to touchdown. Discovery's landing gear will be locked down and into place at 300 feet in altitude. It's currently 3,500 3, feet and uh, traveling at a rate of 370 miles per hour. Thirty seconds until touchdown. Main gear touchdown. Pilot Jim Dutton now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. That brings an end to the STS-131 mission, the 131st space shuttle flight, and the 33rd to the International Space Station. Discovery left Florida on April 5th with 7.6 tons of new science equipment and spare parts, including equipment that should improve the station's capability for Earth observation work, equipment that could help astronauts avoid muscle atrophy, and scientists better understand muscle atrophy, and equipment that will help keep the station system's cooling properly.